Hi, I'm Freddie from FT Cartography and today I wanted to show you a quick and easy way to create your own hill shade effect for your maps using GIMP 2. All you need for this is just two layers, your height map and a land mask. So that's where the sea is completely black and the land is completely white. The height map I'm using is one I created for my own world building project using the free program Wilbur, link down in the description. There are plenty of great tutorials out there on the Cartographers Guild, which I wholeheartedly recommend, but I also created a thread there where I detailed the process I took to create this height map, including all of the layer masks and also all the settings I used. So once, so once you've got those two, just create a new layer called Bump Map and make sure that if you want your uh, hill shade effect to be in colour, make sure it's set to RGB on the image modes. So I have nice colour selected for mine, so just use the fill tool and fill the entire screen. So that entire layer is now your chosen colour. And go into filters, map and bump map. Select the input to be your height map and you can already see it working here. I set the elevation to around 30 and I set the depth to around 7. So you can see how it's going to, going to look. Of course what you get will completely depend on your height map layer. So my height map isn't perfect, it's not 100% realistic, but if you have a very realistic height map you're going to be able to get a very realistic height, uh, hill shade as well. What you can see here is that what should be the sea is now completely coloured in with your chosen colour. So in order to get rid of that, that is what the land mask layer is for. So use the colour select tool and select Oh, whoops. And select the black on your land mask. Then on your bump map, what I would recommend is to grow the selection by two pixels. Because as you can see here, on my height map, on my hill shade layer, there is a small line that goes around it which doesn't look as good as I would like. So I'm going to go into select and grow and then grow it by two pixels. Now you can press delete and there you go. You have your own hill shade effect layer. I'm just going to create another layer called C and paste it in with a nice blue. And there you have it. I hope this has been useful and I hope you have a great day. See ya.